Good afternoon, everybody. It is 11 o'clock. December the 3rd. God bless you guys. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let me show you guys something. Just got here. You see how they're blending it right into the uh, to the already milky white We are here in Nashville, Tennessee. Actually, it's Murphy's. Murphy's. We're at Buster's, where we're gonna have the home of the burger. But you guys, I had a dream a while back where I seen the skies were all white like this. And then there was a little blue. And then they got busy spraying the blue. So, Nobody would see it. Hang on, you guys. I'm going to move. I'm going to move back here. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All right, you guys. Let me clean this. Thing. It only took us three and a half hours to get here. It's a good little drive. Anyhow, excuse me, you guys. I just want to clean this screen up a little bit. But they're very busy. We got a little blue in the sky. And, yeah, you can even see where it's faded. You can see where they're thickening it up, you know? Thickening it up. Some of the blue came out clear where you could see the blue. And, boy, they were right there filling it up. So, it just goes to show you guys the times that we're in and... Okay, you guys, I got a little bit here I'm going to read. Um, this is from I don't know when, you know. I didn't really have anything printed. I wasn't going to do anything till now, but anyhow. Uh, Galatians chapter 6, 6 through 10. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. 7. Be not deceived. God's not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap also. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. You guys, we're, we know we're clearly in um, we're clearly in these biblical end times right now, man. We know it clearly. Um, I tried sharing with several people on the way down here and uh, they were like I said, you know, we're living in the last t days, don't you? And he's like, oh yeah. They didn't have much to talk about. Um, Cynthia's coming out from the restaurant. I guess she went in to check it out. How was it in there? I know. I told everybody you said hello. I was saying, I'm telling everybody you said hello. Is this a biker's place or what? See how they got the biker thing? Is this ain't a biker's place, is it? Looks like they have a thing for cookouts. Yeah, yeah, very national. It's almost a pentagram. Yeah, it probably will be if you just watch for a little while. I gotta get my sweatshirt. Yeah, I mean, there's. They're up there, you can see them still all over the place. And where it's a little light blue, they're filling it in to make it light, you know. It's just like my dream. Yes, the is exactly that. All right. The lady here said she knows it's the end times. So we probably just went to something to talk about it last night, but she hasn't had a chance to speak with her. Well, good. But she didn't really strike me as a week, so we'll see. All right. Maybe we can throw some stuff at her that'll get her eyes. Uh, all right. And let us not be weary in well-doing, 
For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. If we faint not. Yeah, it's 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 amazing, you know, when I see people just driving by and nobody seems to see this. You know? I mean my eyes I can be looking straight in the road and everything up there, just looking at it from the side of my eyes. It's like if you see somebody walking up on your side, even though you're looking forward, but you see somebody coming up on your side because you got a round view of everything. And it's like, how do you not see this? Because it's like, you know, it's like right there in front of your face. Let me show you. This is like in your view, you know. How do you not see that? You know? Let's make sure you can see it. How do you not see it? And you can see the X where it's milky white. Yeah. You know? It's it's like how do you not see it? How do you not see it? Anyhow, we got a little while. We're meeting another sister in Christ here um, at noon. We got here a little early because there was a time difference and we didn't know it. All right. As we have therefore opportunity, you guys, okay, this is 10 in Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. Listen to this. As we have therefore opportunity, we have the opportunity to do things. This is why we are predestined and chosen for this time. We don't do it because of works. We do it because we were called unto good works. That's what this means. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. People that believe, you guys. This is very important. Okay? It's very important. Galatians chapter 5. 14 through 26. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay? We're in it together, you guys. Okay? But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed of one another. Okay, looks like she sent me a text here. I'll see what see what she says. Let me. I'm gonna close this off, you guys, because um, we gotta meet somebody. I might save this and do it this evening when I get back. You know, like it says, if you bite and devour one another, in other words, you know, trying to correct people that are out there that have given false uh, doctrines and stuff like that. You don't want to do it hatefully. You know, like being consumed. Like some people are consumed with other people. We got to stop these people. Ah, you know, don't be consumed about it because, you know, everything's happening according to God's word. And we just have to trust in the Lord. I'm noticing now how more people are coming about, about the repentance, speaking up on these things. God's got it all worked out. That's where we have to be. We have to be abiding, trusted in the Lord, and all these things. If you believe in your heart that all these things through your faith, that's where we have to be, and believing that He will work out all these things. You know? And you'll feel at peace. You'll feel more at peace. And that's where we need to be, you guys. We're getting very close with this happening here. I think she's seen that donut place over there. She's going to go check it out. Anyhow, yeah, I mean, this is like Cynthia. This is how she's trying to spend her last time. She knows clearly we're in the end, and she's trying to do good unto all people, you know. And uh, you guys, like I said, for me, I met Cynthia at the end. I told you I asked the Lord for a cabin in the woods. She didn't even know it. And uh, I thought we were getting ready to part ways, and she asked me to come to Tennessee. She didn't even see this property. She, she seen it online, asked me to go look, and she said she wanted to buy it. And this guy said he had been trying, it was seven years old. And that's the number God works with. 
seven years old when we looked at it. And this guy said he'd been trying to sell it for four years. Nobody would even buy it. Nobody. He couldn't sell it for four years. And when I told him she wanted to buy it, he didn't believe it. But uh, she bought it. And that's exactly what I asked the Lord for, was a cabin in the woods. And it's two small, identical cabins with um, um, a bunkhouse in the back. You know? Anyhow. And that's how she's living it. You know, she's trying to live it like that right there. As it says, we have therefore opportunity. This is the time you take this opportunity and you live it as, as good as you possibly can. You know, being kind, warning people, edifying, telling people what we know. Okay? And like it says, don't, but if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another and sometimes the enemy will try to do that with you to try to get you upset say things to get you consumed with them I won't even reply to them. a lot of times I just block their comments and move them right out along you know why go there and then here it goes on it says this I say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the lust of the flesh uh, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led by the spirit, you're not under the law. Okay? If you're led by the spirit, you're not under the law. So, if you're not led by the spirit, then what are you? That means you're carnal, and carnal is death. That means you're going to be submitting yourself under the devil. You guys, we got to take time, read, understand these scriptures. And, you know, this is the time we're in, okay? All right, you guys, I'm going to pick up with this probably right there at 18. Verse 18. As soon as, uh... As soon as this day's over here. Got a long drive going back. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.